Today we're doing the uh, Tomodachi Rescue Exercise. It's a bilateral operation to conduct airdrops uh, to the south of Susaki Port in uh, an effort to practice our humanitarian aid and uh, rescue efforts. The exercise entails uh, four aircraft mixed uh, with the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force and the 36th Airlift Squadron. Flying uh, close together to conduct an airdrop uh, below the Port of Sasaki with some uh, floating bundles that are going to be picked up by a large Japanese Marine Self-Defense Force vessel. And then they're going to truck those bundles to a simulated uh, disaster area. In this exercise, uh, the flying squadron, the 36th Airlift Squadron, which is part of the 374th Airlift Wing, and really the entire air base of Yokota is involved with the building of the bundles, the loading of the bundles, uh, receiving our Japanese Air Self-Defense Force counterparts, and then uh, the Japanese Marine Self-Defense Force is, of course, going to be receiving the bundles. The significance of this exercise is we're demonstrating the capability to be able to provide humanitarian relief to disaster areas when there's no availability for a runway to land and download supplies and no availability of a land drop zone to be able to recover the supplies. So if we can drop supplies into the water that can be recovered by some sort of vessel uh, that greatly increases our ability to provide relief during disaster scenarios like they experienced in 2011, uh, which led to the Tomodachi exercise. It was a lot of uh, coordination between our Japanese counterparts and of course all the, uh, the organizations that we have here, the 374th Airlift Wing and across the base uh, to be able to receive them and uh, to be able to deconflict all of our different types of aircraft. It presents an interesting problem when you have four very different type of aircraft that are all going to be dropping within close proximity to each other. Uh, so a lot of deconfliction is involved in planning this. From the JASDIF side, they have a C1 that you can see behind me, a C2, and a C-130H model. And then of course the 36 Airlift Squadron flies the C-130J. It's really different dropping on a water drop zone as opposed to a land drop zone as far as uh, the capabilities that we're presenting to our commanders. So to be able to drop with uh, the, this many aircraft and different types of aircraft is really going to create a, a really good benchmark for PACF and their capabilities to respond to uh, humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations.